one of the things that we're starting to see is these micro fulfillment centers, they're much, much smaller scale going into urban areas and suburban areas to try to cut down on that time frame that everybody wants their stuff within you know next day or same day or even within hours, they want their stuff. So one of the ways I think that the supply chain is doing that is to do, do it through micro fulfillment. So Megan, I'm kind of curious on your side because micro fulfillment's kind of been around yeah. on that side for a little while. I'm kind of curious to see what you're actually seeing in your market now. Yeah. I mean, as you mentioned, it's been around for, you know, several years in the retail market. Um, you know, people wanting, you know, clothing items or, or those other goods right away. I think the big shift we've seen is in the past 15 months. So with the pandemic, stores were having to fulfill orders off the shelves. So not just utilizing back of house, but, you know, the customer facing areas as well. So where in the past, maybe, you know, high demand times, you know, holidays, um, snowstorm shovels are gone. You would see those items gone. We were seeing over the past 15 months, everyday household items that were just totally gone. So, you know, paper towels, toilet paper, just everyday items you couldn't get off the shelf. So moving forward, retailers are really going to have to focus on how can they fulfill these orders while still keeping their shelves stocked and more importantly, really still having that customer experience for, you know, those consumers that go into the store. So... How is that affecting your store layouts? I mean, it's got to have some sort of an impact yeah. on them. Yeah, I, I think we're seeing a couple of things. Um, some retailers are looking at expanding the back of house area. Um, you know, that expansion isn't just for fulfillment of orders, but also returns. So, you know, with the increase of buy online, we're also seeing a lot more return orders brought to the stores. So seeing that back of house grow but some retailers don't have that option. So they're actually thinking about growing up. So how can they expand their storage you know, into that volume um, beyond to get that extra storage space? And then with the front of house, retailers are really focusing on that customer experience. So how can they still bring customers into the store? Um, you know, Buy online, pick up in store, kind of kiosks where they can come in, but putting those in places where there can still be those impulse buys and still driving those consumers into the store. Carol, one of the things that, that you know, as I was talking to Megan, it kind of occurred to me is on the fresh side, there's a, there's a much different component in all of this micro fulfillment. Um, how is it, how is it being implemented into the fresh side of the retail market? So, so when it comes to grocery orders, it's that fresh component that, that really adds to the complexity of fulfilling, um, that online order. Um, if you can imagine, uh, fresh products have different levels of ripeness as, as well as temperature and uh, storage uh, requirements as well. So the fresh fulfillment uh, process is, is very much time sensitive. Um, and so, so what needs to happen is, is that it needs to occur efficiently as well as carefully so that when that product gets into the customer's hands, it's, it's what they expected of fresh. And of course, another big differentiator is the fact that fresh is highly subjective. People have preferences um, in terms of color or firmness or, or size and shape. Um, so, so with that consideration, um, operators also wonder how much of this product or fresh product could actually be sent through an automated system. And if it were to be manually picked, um, how can we reduce the, the number of touches? Um, so for this reason, um, some customers still still choose to shop for fresh in store and, and then maybe purchase some pantry or dry good items online or any combination of the two or one on any day. So it's really about options and, and convenience.